let's uh, go to the anonymous window. String. What I'm doing here. I'm printing the value. System dot debug. It's Q2. Find star, raw, okay. So we're doing area of elements. One by one element it is suffering and printing. So if data type is contact, the same thing I have given. We have data type. Account it is is equal to. So tell me how you write it. How do you write the for loop? How do you write the for loop? For account. You suppose to print dot a dot name. What is the a one record from a group of? So we got contact C1 is equal to new contact. So now do you write the for loop? How to write the for loop? Write the for loop for this. Write a for loop to refer to one by one element and print the value. Write a for loop to print a one by one element. Write a for loop to refer to one by one element and print the value. Write a for loop to refer to one by one element and print the value. Right now. This is how we are referring to the group of elements. I hope you are clear. Now, let us understand the concept of list. Now, what is a list? Why we go for a list? What is a list and why we go for a list? We will try to understand the concept of list. For loop is clear. Right? Actually, we have seen how to create an array and we have seen how to refer to them using index. Now, it is a referring using it's all there. This is a new format of writing a for loop and everybody is using the same. Now, we are trying to understand list. We are trying to understand list. Was List is what? It's a collection. List is a collection. List is a collection. What is the concept of list? List is a concept of collection. Which is used to increase or decrease the size based on runtime requirement. List is a concept of collection which is used to increase or decrease the size based on runtime requirement. Which is used to increase or decrease the size based on runtime requirement. Which is used to increase or decrease the size based on runtime requirement. Now let me give you. Let us start with the first concept here. Listen carefully. List. What is the list box? List is a collection of similar elements. List is a collection of 
similar elements. Array is also what? Array is also collection of similar elements. List is also collection of similar elements. Size of the list. Size of the list. Can grow or decrease dynamically based on runtime report. Size of the list can grow or decrease based on runtime report. Size of the list can grow or decrease based on runtime requirement. The size of the list can grow or decrease based on runtime requirement. List accepts duplicate values. List accepts duplicate values. List maintains insertion order. List maintains insertion order. List accepts duplicate values. List maintains insertion order. Elements in the list. Elements in the list are referred using index. Index value will start with Index value will start with Elements in the list are referred using index Index value will start with G. Index value will start with G. Elements in the list are referred with Referred using index and index value will start with H. Index value will start with H. Right. No, syntax. Okay, look at the point. In Salesforce, we have a predefined effects class list to handle the For the list, it is a predefined effects class. The Salesforce, we have a predefined effects class called list, which is used to handle the list operation. The Salesforce, we have a predefined effects class called list, which is used to handle the list operation. Syntax. List of data. The format of the class. What is the class format? List of data. Where data type can be where data type can be primitive. This object. How do you define constructor? List of data type. List of data type. Or we can also have one more constructor. List of data type. So I can give 
empty constructor without parameters, with a list of data type parameters, with a set of data type parameters. So we have three constructors as per our requirement. This class has given some predefined, we have some predefined methods to support. Let's give some predefined methods to support this accomplish. What are the predefined methods we have? There's too many predefined methods. Look at them. What is the method? One by one method we start understanding. First we have add. Add all. Add element comma in text. So we have a lot of predefined methods which are used to support the operation. So what we have? First one. We have add. What is the purpose of add? It is used to add the element. Add. Like this. There are so many predefined methods which are given to identify or to help you out. To help you out. To help you out. What type of operation we are performing. If we want to perform some operation on the list, Salesforce has already given some predefined methods. What are those predefined methods? Go to the and I'll give you a copy. What is the first one? Add. What is this? This method is used. Add new element to the list. What is an example? List of region. Age is equal. List of list of integer. Age is equal to new list of integer. What is this? It's a list of type. It's a list of type integer. It's a list of type integer. What I'm doing? How do you add the elements? Age is dot add. Is is dot add. What is the add? Add is the method which is used to add elements into the list. Yeah. We have given this. List is a method which is used to add elements to the list is a list is a class which has a method called add, which is used to add new element to the list. It is used to add new element to the list. Using the add, we are adding a new element to the list. So we have ages dot add 10, ages dot add 20, ages dot add 30. Like this we are Example, I'll give one more example. What are the data type we have taken? Next time give it. Create a list to store. City names are going to be used for me. All the city names are going to be still. I'm giving it list of city is equal to new list of how do we add the elements? Cities dot add. Right. So this will be coming in the form of this is a big list of things. It is equal to new list of we are adding elements. The next one, we have an experiment here. Add or, or add index comma in. Add index comma. What is add index comma element? Dixon. 
when you say add element, this mother is used to add new element to the list. When you say add index comma element, where that mother is going to add, always the mother is going to add the element at the last position. 10, 20 added the last, 30 added the last. Element is added at the last position. No, I don't want to add the element at last position. I want to add the element at the middle. Then we go for what? Add index comma element. What was this? This mother. The last. That the given index. This mother is used to add new element at the given index. You are going to specify the index. Whatever the index you are giving, at the index the element will be added. So let us see this. List of integer age is equal to new list of integer. What I am doing here? Age is not add at 10. Age is not add 20. Age is not add 30. Yeah. So here, when you say add, so what are the format of values we have? Now I am giving it. Age is dot add 1 comma 9. Age dot add 1 comma 9. Then you say age dot add 1 comma 90. So at one position, 90 is added here. Elements are moved to the right. Adding the element at given index. Basically, when you say add, element will be added at the last position. When you say add, element will be added at the last position. But when you say add index comma element, element will be added at the given index. I told it is not add. When you say 3, Add element comma, add index comma element. Add the element at a given index. Basically, when you say add, elements are added at the last position. 10, 20, 30, 40. When you say 1 comma 90, add the element at one position. Add 3 comma 70, add the element at index 3. Index 3, not third position. Index 3. Right, boss? I hope you are clear. So, what is that method? Add element, add index comma element. Then we have the next one. Third mother. So what is the third mother we have? Add all. Add all. If you have a list of elements are set, adding one list to another list. Adding one set to another list. We are adding one list to another list. Adding a list to a list. Adding a set to a list. We call add all. What is the purpose? This method is used. Add list of top elements. This mother is used to add list or set of elements to list. This mother is used to add list or set of elements to a list. This mother is used to add list or set of elements to a list. This mother is used to add list or set of elements to a list. Then what I'm going to keep here. Look at the format. List of integer age is equal to new list of integer. This is a list. I am getting one more list. List of integer minus list equal to list of what I am doing here? My list dot add all. You say my list dot add all ages. Whatever the elements which are there in my ages, all the elements of ages are added to my list. All the elements of
make it clear and give minus dot add So what we have here? We say minus dot add all. Yes. What is it? Add all. Basically, the ages minus what are the values we have? 90 and 80. But I told, minus dot add all ages. What are the elements that are in the ages? They are added to minus. Adding list of elements to a list. If you want to add a list, then this list of ages are added to my list. This list of ages are added to my list. Are you can clear with this format? People have followed. So, what are the methods we have? Add, add index gamma element. Add all, adding a group of elements to a list. Similarly, once the elements are there in the list, I want to retrieve. If you have a group of integers, at 0 position, what value is there? Integer value. At 1 position, what value is there? Integer value. At 10 position, what value is there? Integer. Because you say list of integer, at every position, what will be there? Integer. So when I say give me the element at 1 position, we are going to get integer. Give me the element at 10 position, we are going to get integer. Because it is a list of integers, we are going to get an integer value as a return. When I say get the element, we get what? Integer value. So let us understand. Next button. Set of set of index. This will return. Value at given index. This will return value at given index. This is going to return you value at given index. How it is going to return you the value at given index? Let's see the star integer. Is dot add for what I was doing. Go to the right. We have values. Now I am giving it integer a equal to ages dot get off. Let's say ages of get off to what is the value we have? Let's say integer b ages dot get off 3 get the element which is at the index 3. What we are going to get? Get off b means what is the value of get off 3? Get with the element which is at index 3. Get with the element which is at index 3. So what is there at index 3? Integer. Why? It is a list of integer. Suppose if I have list of c.
when the list of strings when you change the list of strings what will be there at every position string values are there so when you say get of one we are going to get what So you're getting here. So what was that? String A equal to So you say get of 2, what is the value at 2? Get of 0, get of 2. Get of 0, get of 2. Get the element which is at a given index. Get the element which is at a given index. Getting the value which is at a given index. If it is a list of accounts, at second position account record will be there. List of contacts or all the position contacts will be there. Whichever the data type you are using, that type of value is good written. We have add, add index comma element, add all, then we got to get, get the element from the list. But if you want to get the element, you should know index. Your element is available at which index. First you should know element is available at which index. If you don't know at which index the element is available, it's of no use. Again, we are writing a logic to find out what is the index. Okay. Next, we are going with that. Get off. Then we are going to use remove of index. Remove of index means this method will remove. Remove the element at the given index. Remove of index. This method is going to remove the element which is at the given index. What I am going to do is stop integer. Stop. I was given is dot add at ten. Is dot add. Then you are supposed to give. When you create this, we are going to get. All the indexes we have. Now I give. Age is dot remove. Let's say age is dot remove one. Element which is at index one is removed. Element which is at index 1 is removed. It is not to move off. It is going to remove the element which is at index 2. So remove. What is the purpose of remove? This method is going to remove the element which is at the given index. Remove is the method which is used to remove the element which is at the given index. I hope I am clear with this format. I hope I'm clear with this format. Remove the element at given index. Remove the element which is at given index. I hope you are clear. Clear? People are clear about this? Okay. So we have done remove. Then I want to remove every element. Not one element. I want to remove every element. If you want to remove every element, this will remove all the elements from the list. Clear is the method which is going to remove every element from the list. So, what is that? I give list of integer. New list of integer. So, how to add elements? Is not add them.
then right now what are the elements we have Make it is not. You see, is not clear. Every element is removed. None of the elements will be left. All the elements are going to be removed. Right now, we will not be having any elements. I hope you are clear. People are clear. So let us first turn. Okay, I'll do one more button, then we we'll do some examples. So it's not. This will sort the elements. Sort. This will sort the elements in the list in the ascending order. Sort. This will sort the elements in the list in the ascending order. When I say this, let's stop. Teacher. We have sort list of integers at 10, 20, 30. Then they are already in sorting order. When I say the elements are stored internally, the order of the order you have inserted, the same order they are stored. Sort. Ages sort. sort. When it's sort, elements will be coming in. Then <laughs> elements are sorted in the setting up. Right, sort. Similarly, how many elements are there in the list? How many elements are there in the list? Size. Is it size? This will return you number of elements in the list. This will return count of number of elements in the list. Count of number of elements in the list. Size. This will give you count of number of elements in the list. See, if you want, you can also steadily give the value like this. This is called static recognition. <coughs> you can also give. You know the values you can give steadily. Like Count equal to ages dot size. I hope you are clear. What is the count here? So we have the basic methods. Still there are some couple of methods, but we have seen basic. What is it? Add, add index comma element, add all, get off index, remove off index, clear, sort, size. First let us do some exercise on this. Create a list. Store. Company names. Add. Add. Subject.
Start doing one by one. Write the code, don't write all the story. Write the code. First, create a list of store company names. Create a list to store the variables. 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 Variables are going to be formatted. Variables are going to be clean. A name should be in the plural form. Take it the, the form of your list of the company names. So it should be what? List of the list of the company name is equal to new list of the Then what are you supposed to do? Use the add method. Use the add method. Is the DMX? Use the add method. Is the DMX? So, this is not a add. How do you add it? This name, what is the list? Companies. Companies dot add. Name of the list dot add. Name of the list. Add. Name of the list dot add. Add. Is yes. Add. When you are giving a name for the list set, collection, you have your list. List. So, list dot add, list dot add, list dot add, list dot add. So what you are supposed to do? You are supposed to create list. List of cities are going to be string. City is equal to company, right? List of list to store company names. List of string. Company is equal to new list of string. So what you are supposed to add? How to add the values? Company is dot add. Company is dot add. Add. Company is dot add. Companies dot add Dell, companies dot add TCS, companies dot add Wipro, companies dot add Samsung. List name dot add, list name dot add element, list name dot add element, list name dot add element. Then add applet index to. Companies got to add two comma add capital and index. So what I told remove the element from index one. How do you remove? 
open his door, remove one. They told sort the records. How do you sort? Then find the size. Find the size. What is the size? This is how we have created. If you want to find the size, list the dot size. List the dot size. Don't copy, make an attempt of writing. If you are not finding it, you are unable to write, then you copy it. Done. We have not done this. Everyone has followed this. Everyone has followed. Let us do one more example. Next one. Create a list. Create a list to store. Create a list to store. Places. And add. Send again. Add. Next one. Add. Sort all the places. Remove all the places. <laughs> Start doing this. We have list of thing. In the store, suppose there are the places, places dot add. Index one and really places for add add two comma Index. 
Đúng không? Now sort all the values. What is sort all the values? Then remove all the pieces. How do you remove all the pieces? Place is gone. You can be Find the size. Basic level. I hope you are clear with this comment. People are clear. Basic methods are clear. Everyone is clear with the basic methods. Still, couple of other methods are here. EMP. What is EMP? This will then prove there is this. It will run through if the list is empty. It will run through if the list is empty. It is empty. It will run through if the list is empty. So before going for further methods, I'll go with them. Before going for further methods, I'll go with other examples. Now let us see how we can create them. How we can use them and create a couple of examples in the textbook. Look at this. How do you create a quick list option? How do you create? How do you create in a FX programming? If you want to create FX, select option, item label. This is how we used to do. Am I right? How we used to create a quick list? FX, select option, item label, item value. But the same option we will create in the FX programming also. We have a class called FX. We have a class called select option. What was this? It is a predefined FX class. It is used to create options for this topic. How you create an option? Select option item value comma. How I also want to give item value comma item item value comma item. So create a quick list option with item label comma item value. So how do you create select option? Now what is the value of OP? Null or empty? If no value is the same, it is what? Null. Then what am I doing? OP equal to new. What is the above example? Item value PG. Item value. This is how we are creating. So we can create the option programmatically using a class called select option. What is the select option? It is a predefined FX class. It is a predefined FX class which is used to create an option file. Now let us see how to work on it. Public stop. Options. Then we go with public. Now what are we? Is it going to be a single option or a group of options? If this will have what? Group of options. What am I doing? Options equal to new list of options. Because it's a group. How many options are going to be there? I am not sure. You may take two options or three options or ten options. I am not sure. When you are not sure about the size, you go for a list or a thing. You go for a list. That's why I am going for a list. What I am taking here? What are the values we have then? Item value is then item label is then. I am 
creating one more one more option select option new select option give it here select option Let me check it. Option one, option two, like that. I have created multiple number of options. How you are supposed to do? Options dot add. In the list, what are the order which I am adding? The same order. Values will be added. Options dot add. So what did I do? Created a multiple options. Option one, option two, so on so. Then I'm creating list of options. Created a couple of options. Added the option to the list. So now you display them in the real page. We have to select list size equal to one. What is the option we have? Select options value equal to what are the list of options we have? Once we already created a list of options, set away we are giving select options value equal to options. So it will be. We are getting here. Right, boss. Are you clear about this? So we are creating the options of programmatically by using select option class. We have a predefined FX class called select option, using which we can create an option. As we are going to get a list of options, create an option, add them to the list. As we have a group of option, create a one by one list, create a one by one option, add them to the list. Create an option, add them to the list. Create an option, add them to the list. I hope you are clear. Am I clear with this? People are clear? Right. Now the same thing, I will make it much more dynamic. Right. Now. <laughs> So we have public select. What I'm doing here? What I'm doing here? I'm trying to create places. Can I give the places right away here? I'm giving the places here. Right now I am taking the data like this, down the line I will be taking the data from database. I will write a sample body, I will take the data. Right now we are not sample body, so straight away I am giving, down the line I am going to take the data from database. I am going to write a sample body, take the data from database. So how do you take the data? You are supposed to take one by one option. Have you taken 
options. We have a list of values. How do you take one by one option? String yes. One by one option I have to take. String yes, list. Then how do you create? Select option will be equal to. Then we have yes. Item value is yes. What is yes? Yes is yes. Are taken. Now the places is group of values. S will refer to one value. What is the first value? S and again. So S is S and again. Item value S and again. Comma item label is also S and again. Item value S and again. Item label is also S and again. Right. Item value item label. Then we are supposed to add. Item label item value. Item label item value. Item label item value. Right. Or if you list, select list. Size equal to one. If you want to increase the box type, style, So we select options. Right box. Is there was weird? Clear for everyone? A senator to create it. They are getting these facts. What I've done? Created a list, taking one by one value from the list. Are you creating the pitch speech? I hope you are clear. People have followed this example. Clear for everyone? Any query? Any query from your end? Any query from your end? Follow or not? 